All right, what's up, everybody? We're back with another beer review. It's the Erie Better Beer Bureau. I'm Dave. I'm Joe. And I'm Maury. And Joe here uh, was recently in Vermont, and uh, he grabbed some triple sunshine from Lawson's Finest Liquids. Yeah, the big Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. It's 10.5%. Yeah, which is kind of scary for me when it comes to IPAs, but me too. I'm sure I you guys will like it. I'm sure you guys will like it. Yeah, well, boozy well. starts making me nervous, but the I, the aroma is overwhelming right yeah. now, so yeah. I can't wait to get into it. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. <laughs> wow, orange tangerines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pineapples. Almost has that like earthy buttery thing going on yeah. underneath, just like, like double, double sunshine. Yeah, buttery. Yeah, it yeah, has a true. similar aroma to double sunshine. Real similar, and a similar look. It's like chunky and cloudy. Yeah, you know, it's got that haze to it, that unfiltered yeah. look going on. I'm, I'm drooling just smelling this thing. Though. And there's a little bit of booze on the nose, but not but a you're, lot. Yeah, no, not a lot at all. Yeah, it kind of looks and smells like a little bit sticky, but not like syrupy. Right. Yeah, yeah um, definitely yeah. sticky though. Yeah. The lacing is like sticking yeah, to the edges awesome. of the glasses yeah. too. I remember, I, I remember Double Sunshine being just like this. Real similar, yeah. So, and it's pretty close in. ABV. I mean, a couple points eight, lower. Two eight, and a so. half, yeah. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Wow, it's right. That's pretty darn good, man. And it has a little bit of booze to it. But not 10% worth. No. Yeah. The, way that, the tropical fruits bury the booze. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The way I describe it is usually when you get booziness, it's hot and it can be like offensive, but it's kind of like a sweet, like tingly kind of yeah. booziness. Yeah, I um, agree. It, it does have a nice sweetness to it. Thankfully, it yeah, has some right. bitterness as well. Yeah. yeah. And the bitterness is like in the form of like, you know, uh, like orange acid, like acidic like lime, oranges yeah. and stuff like that. Like it's almost like a, uh, yeah, like a citrus fruit bitterness to right. it. So. Absolutely. Definitely, I think it follows the the citrus. For me, follows the nose. It's mm -hmm. orange. I even get a little bit of almost like a lemony character in yeah. there. Some tangerine. Yep, tangerine yeah. for sure. You know, the, there's not quite. I got a little bit more pineapple on the aroma, but I'm getting all like oranges and tangerines. Maybe a little, like you said, a little lemon. Mm -hmm. The lemon, I think, is almost the alcohol. Though. Yes. It, it's, it's like the like alcohol that, that has a lemon flavor. Flavor, to flavor it. mixing yeah. with the alcohol on the back end almost gives mm -hmm. you that's where i get the alcohol by the way is on the back end and yeah. there is a, a slight There's warming warm, it's yeah, a little warming sure. yeah, yeah. Sure. it's not like an alcohol though like that's like a bitey burning alcohol sure. it's just like a little warm yeah. to let you know it's double digit al abv yeah. 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 yeah when i had first had this on cast when i first smelled it i mean it blew me away but i was like is there going to be any bitterness on this at all because right. you're just getting like tons of tropical fruit like we said the oranges and the tangerine pineapple um, and then initially you're kind of okay. Where's the bitterness? And then there's just the bitterness kind of it hits real late. Yeah, down. it hits yeah. late. Yeah. You know the one difference I think this I think double sunshines definitely a little more buttery to me. It is. It has I that was little getting that on the sweetness, aroma. I but, get it a little on the taste, but not a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. I agree. And I think it's that kind of lemony booze that kind of takes kind of takes that, that butteriness yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. I'm going to go a 4.5. It's definitely, you know, approaching world-class beer. Um, for me, you know, the warming sensation is my only critique. But, hell, it's 10%. I almost can't hold yeah. it against that beer. And it's a triple IPA. For a triple IPA, I mean, I'm leaning almost towards 4.75 on this one. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, like, a hair away. But, yeah, I'm going 4.5. It is a fantastic beer. And, honestly, I've never even had a Lawson's beer that... Or that even mildly sure. disappointed me. Sure. So um, I think it's right on par with pretty much everything else that's come from Lawson's. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Um, when I had it on cask, it was an easy 4.75 for me. Um, I think the the tropical flavors were kicked up a notch. Um, uh, the, it was more sweet and more bitterness there. Um, but yeah, I mean, drinking it right now, it's I'll say 4.5, but it's I'm. I'm close it's to a fantastic four, seven, beer. Five. Yeah, I mean, it, let's not awesome. kid ourselves. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, maybe just a, a little more bitterness. Um, 
I like the butteriness of the double sunshine, like you guys were saying a little bit more, but it's a awesome beer and totally worth the trip. Absolutely. Um, I'll say that. So, yeah, four and a half. Uh, yeah, I'm going to round it out at four and a half. There was a brief second in the review, like mid, where I was toying with the idea of knocking it down to a 4.25, but then I realized, man, it's ten and a half. The alcohol is pretty well hidden. For an IPA. This. Yeah, I mean, and mm-hmm. and I love the flavors of this beer. Yeah. I really do. It's it's excellent. I think I like Double Sunshine just this much more. I do too. But this is, I mean, this is definitely an excellent beer, and we thank you for sharing Absolutely. with us. Yeah, Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.